Welcome to the June edition of Toy Talk, a monthly show where a couple guys get together and talk about toys. If this is your first time here, the breakdown of the show goes as follows. First, we all gather around and talk about the recent toys we've bought. Next up, we talk about a couple quick highlights of toy announcements and toy news. And finally, we finish out the show by answering some of the questions from you, the viewer, in the audience. Now, now that you know what goes on, let's meet the hosts. Of course, I'm Vince. I run this channel. And of course, as always, I have my friend Meads. What's up? Hey, what's up? We also have Gabe here. How is it going? And unfortunately, Peter couldn't make it tonight, I, I guess. Did he stay why he couldn't make it, guys, or he just was busy? I think he just had I still think it's about the Valkyrie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, that that must be it. Well, well, there you go. So that's what's happened, and uh, yeah. So what's new, Gabe? How you been this past month? It's been uh, really busy again. Let me see what I do. Uh, I went on this really, really long and very treacherous hike, and uh, my friends decided to go on the hottest day out of summer. And then uh, I almost died of heat exhaustion. Oh, you gotta keep, you gotta keep hydrated. <laughs> I did. I drank like at, at least five liters of water, coming co going up and coming down. So, but I'm water. here, and I climb one of the really famous local like attractions. It's like it's if you go to San Diego, there is a rock that's shaped like a potato chip, and yeah, a lot of it's really popular with people that come into town, take a picture on it. It's really cool. But, cool. Yeah. Wait, a ship? Yeah. Like a ship? No, a, po a potato chip. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see what else. I watched Transformers this past weekend. Oh, wow. That was fun. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to ruin it for uh, for anyone else, but uh, yeah, I'm seeing it tomorrow. Okay, yeah, just okay. just cast your logic aside. Don't even bring it in. Like, put it in okay. the keep it in the lock and just forget so it. So it's just visually tomorrow. stunning. Yeah, sure. Yeah, there are some stunning things on the screen. All right. Yeah. Awesome. All right, now keep it at that. Okay. Cool. Me, how's your past month been? Actually, well, recently I, I went to uh, LA to visit my sister. Yep. Just got back. <laughs> Just really returned the rental car. Yeah, it was fun. Um, went to Disneyland. Um, went to uh, the Getty Villa. I'm not sure if you guys heard of that, but uh, it's it's like a museum. And uh, still spinning. Still <laughs> spinning. What a guy. So it's not a fad. It's, it's legit. Yeah, it's, the, it's not a yeah. face, guys. It's not a face. <laughs> Other than that, it's good. Um, I, I'm still getting stuff. I'm still backlogged. But I'm I'm slowly, I'm also building a kit, uh, especially the frame arms. Those are like one of the things I really want to build. I finished it. I still need to build an add-on, but I'll show that to you later on. Looking forward to it. Cool. Uh, anything else? How about you, Vince? How have you been to? Uh, nothing. It's hot here too. It's also very rainy. We. It's like I live in a tropical country, but I don't. It's Canada. It's either <laughs> rain or or heat, and it's kind of tiresome. Uh, today we had like a typhoon. Riding, right? Pardon? You still uh, riding your bicycle around? Oh, of course, all the time. I. Uh, that's all I do with my life now. Um, and then I kind of tried to get back into uh, building model kits and stuff this past month. So I've been doing that. I'm not going to tell you what I've built. You'll just have to wait and see. Uh, Is it Build Fighters? Uh, some of them are. S oh. Some of them are not. And uh, okay. yeah, you'll just have to tune in and find out. Um, dun, dun, dun. Otherwise, this weekend is. Um, Canada Day. So oh. I guess that's the equivalent for you guys. Fourth uh, of July. Ours is on July first. So oh. I'll 
probably be driving up to um i'm gonna go to ottawa for a couple days celebrate there and then hang out at a cottage with uh with my girlfriend so that'll be fun oh, nice uh, yeah cool otherwise yeah not, nothing too too spectacular to report on uh so with that we should probably get started on the show and before we get started i got to give shout outs to everyone who made it out tonight so What's up to get ready? The Krosama, Moses D, Zachary, equal something sword 770, the ugly mofo predator, <laughs> Ghost Plus 8, Banshee 2911, and Red Gaddy. Yes, you made it to the live show. And what is up, my friend? D Kuhn, what's up? Yes, Red Gaddy, Canada 150. It is a big celebration this year so it'll be fun i'll also what's up to matthew and super awesome sauce who just showed in you were lucky enough to get a shout out so there you go so let's get started who wants to go first i think me should you think me should go first <laughs> yes, <laughs> all right <laughs> all right so um i think yes so i think i got this this month i don't know if i showed this last month I Oh, that's the Everything? fate. That's uh, the fate. Uh, sh no yeah, shield. shorts and shield. Yeah, I haven't watched. Uh, uh, what do you call this? The second uh, fate stay night. Well, there's fate stay night, and there's uh, that's fate grand order, right? Yeah, the grand order. Is that a game? Uh, beats me. I, I, I checked out on fate a long time ago. So yeah, I I really like the design of her. Kind of reminds me of Ram. Oh yeah, I yeah, see I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, and the giant shield man, that's awesome. Only if that was a spinner. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, no, no one is was, stopping you. I actually <laughs> bought this. Just uh, the girl is just amazing. I like the design of the girl. It's it's really nice. And it turns out this is actually quite hard to get now. I didn't uh, realize that. Really? Yeah, Space people stuff. have been asking me on my video or my my review of this, like, where can they get it? Like, I didn't realize Fate still have that much uh, uh, popularity. Even the caster, I think, the one with the wolf ears. That one's, yeah, uh, yeah it's kind of hard to get. Oh, okay. There's a good following for that. So that's that. Before you move on to the next one, we got some comments about you, Meads. Uh, first of all, Moses D says, shout out to your afro. <laughs> I need the haircut. Uh, and the ugly mofo predator says, you look like a DJ from the 80s. He's not being mean. He, says, he thinks your hair is awesome. <laughs> all right, thanks. <laughs> oh, well, I've been meaning to get a haircut, but with my recent uh, trip this weekend, I just uh, I keep pushing it back. I think, I think some, I don't know. I, I think I read the comment. Someone says you look like Hercule. From uh, <laughs> from <Target> <laughs> sure. I just need to grow a mustache. Oh my, doesn't work for me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be stubby. All right. So next up, I got the SOC Muzzin Emperor G. Yo. Yeah, this is amazing. And yeah, this this kind of just uh, relate my um, interest with uh, SRC because uh, I think the, <laughs> to be honest, the Mazinger, you know, just the black and uh, silver color scheme is just too plain for me. Mm -hmm, for sure. But this one is a lot better. Yeah, comes with a giant uh, sword, uh, that awesome cape and everything. Just really nice. I'm still debating if I want to get the zero, which is I think the counterpart for this. And Particularly on a certain game. Again, I I didn't play the game. I just <laughs> into collecting the the SRCs. Yeah, it's yeah. a cool design for sure. Really nice. Right, aside from that, I didn't get to do much reviews lately, but I did review this recently. This is the SOZ Megazord. Looks gorgeous. Oh. Yep. Um. Overall, this is a really nice. I mean, comparing this from what I remembered uh, back then when I was young, yeah, definitely this is a, a nice uh, step up. But then again, it's kind of hard to compare something that is 
just mostly plastic to something that is part uh, die cast. What happened to Vince? I don't know. Maybe he went out somewhere. But continue. I wonder if he's grabbing his own magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, there he is. He's back. Sorry. Back Sorry. Other, you went to grab your Megazord. I did. did Check you? it out. Oh my god, mine's better than yours. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the Legacy one? No, this is the OG no, one. I don't know. The Legacy one's somewhere else. Oh, I rem- yeah, I had the original one. That's yeah, that's it. the one. Yep. That's it. Yep, that's the way I remembered it. Oh, I wish I saved mine, but it, it's gone in Philippines somewhere. Actually, you know what? Okay, here, here, here's a fun story. This isn't mine, and I, I never owned this toy to be honest. And um, uh, I still don't technically own this toy. My cousin owned it though, and I always wanted it. So uh, I think like a couple of years ago, I was like, "Hey, do you still have that? Can I just borrow it?" And he's like, "Yeah, here, take it." And I just never gave it back. He <laughs> didn't say take it. <laughs> well, he's like, because I'm like, I need it for a video, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah sure, take it. Just give it back when you're done." And that was two years ago. And it's just been here with me forever. <laughs> no, you should really get the SOC now, so we can do a review. Yeah, probably one day. Yeah, but yeah, this guy is amazing. Although there are a few things that you know I didn't really, you know, could have been better. Like uh, the third doctor here, it's not really connecting well on the bottom part here. It's kind of flat. Oh. But other than that, I mean, it's not back in. And you got this kind of like loose here. They didn't put rather than joints there. Uh, but I, I mean, okay. even the swivel. Here. And, I mean, you can't really put a uh, ratcheting joint here on the elbow just because of the transformation. But everything else, you know, I mean, here for the you have ratcheting there, and then this one too. He's got yeah. wrist swivels, right? Yeah, wrist, uh, wrist uh, swivels, and uh, also the fingers. He, you have a possible thumb and the grippy hands. Oh, nice. Uh. Definitely an improvement. Um, and that thing, the sword on the old one, it's all chrome-plated, right? Is it? Uh, yeah. I, you know what? It might just be the same sword. Um, a little... <laughs> <laughs> the design, but they added the gold here. The L, like, where the designs are. Uh, and the is black. <laughs> Same sword with more paint. <laughs> yep. Although the gold they use here is a bit tacky. Mm. Eh, I kind of wish it's a bit more chrome. Mm. But yeah, this, this is really nice. Um, you know, despite, I think a lot of reviews said that the, the wheels are not working here for the Triceratops and the Sabertooth Tiger. And I think I'm okay with that because you're going to be transforming it like this. You're not going to be rolling an uh, expensive toy around. Yeah. I think the only thing that bones me about that toy, from what I've seen, is he has no waist swivel, right? Because of, of the tail, how it locks in his backpack. Yeah, but you can just uh, unlock the tail. Yeah, I'm going to put it down here. Oh. Then you can probably rotate it now. Oh, I see. But then he's got to... Yeah, you just got to lower the tail and you're fine. Oh. I mean, the tail is actually... Uh, oh, that's cool. I didn't realize it was jointed like that. That's cool. Yeah, it's like the Godzilla is like, wow, this is amazing. So overall, this is a really nice, yeah, uh, improvement. And even the shoulder here on yours, because this one you can actually kind of cover up the shoulder area. Oh, what? That's so You can cover that up. Even on the mammoth, you don't see the the back end of the the hands. Everything is covered by that uh, flaps. Okay. So that, that that is one of the things that you know really is a nice improvement. And I think out of all the the things that the mammal is like the best thing <laughs> for me. Mm-hmm. Well next is the ter- uh, ter- uh, the ter- ah, T Rex. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, even the triceratops, they made some improvements and we get this kind of like chain thing here on the horns. Oh, so you don't lose them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't <laughs> yeah, you just gotta have to place it back. There we go. <laughs> this is hard. That's cool, though. 
yeah, it's overall it's just it's not it's a nice uh, toy. Um, what else I can talk about this? And then you got the Mama Shield here, and you got a really nice uh, paint app on this guy here. Uh, probably not gonna show well, but you've seen pictures of that. Mm. Other than that, what else I can uh, show? You? Let me just put the Mega Zord here. And I've been building my frame arms. This is the Ray Fox right here. And guess what? He has a spinner. <laughs> like that's a legit weapon? Yeah, it's a legit wow. weapon. Wow. That's cool. Wow, man. <laughs> but wow, this guy cool. is amazing and very fragile. I already broke it. <laughs> you already broke it? <laughs> well, it turns out I was assembling the wings, and I incorrectly put the... The the wing was inverted, so oh. I was like, "What? How come the blazer is not? Because this the blade is on this side, out going outward. One of them is like flipped. Like, oh, I put it wrong. Then I actually was trying to force it in to try to try to balance it both sides. I snapped it. Uh, I I fixed it somehow. Um, but the the whole box. I mean, the box of this guy is really huge, and you get everything you need. I actually bought the add-on set. You know how frame arms, you can just buy the add-on set for it to put yeah, on your yeah. other frame arms? Uh -huh. So I have another set of wings, which I can turn into a giant sword. Oh, my gosh. So it's one of the perks. But it does come with its own stand. It's just, and the way you build this thing, it kind of has like an inner frame. It's like building the unicorn. It's a, it's a really nice uh, kit. I, I, I have yet, yeah, I have yet to review this guy, but truly amazing. Question, question on that one. Is mm -hmm. that is that the one that turns into a hawk bird thing? No, that is the vulture. Okay. Actually, there's also a Rayburn, and I think there's also a vulture guy on that. I <laughs> I have three of those. Okay, cool. Yeah, but that's a different frame arms. Yeah. Uh, what else do I have here? I have a lot more. Oh, I got this one. I haven't reviewed this yet. Uh, the bicycle. Oh, that's out already? Oh. Yeah, it's been out. And have you heard of the issues with this guy? No. Uh-uh. Do you remember Vegeta with or Dragon Ball that you have the cross arm uh, that you can swap, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Well, this one has that too, but... Uh, you have to swap out to this shoulder joint, not just the you know, portion of the bicep. Uh -huh. So I think people have been trying to swap it out and end up breaking the shoulder or bowl joint. Mm. Uh, uh, the plastic is quite brittle on this uh, storm collectible. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, like this arm here. It's a nice pose, but unfortunately, trying to do that is nerve-wracking. So I'm not probably not gonna do that based on what I've seen on people's reviews. I also have Ryu somewhere here. Yeah. Oh, I already broke the ankles on this guy. Oh, <laughs> oh my man, god. Really? Is it that bad? Is it that fragile? Does he can still stand, but the socket is brittle. Mm. Uh, so uh, unless they uh, update their plastic, it's it doesn't look good for the company. Or maybe it's a luck of a draw. Maybe I'm I'm just unlucky again. That's sad. I say they're uh, based out of Hong Kong, and yeah, I was hoping that they would succeed. Yeah. Oh, we'll see. I mean. I, to be honest with you, I still like the proportions of Storm collectibles compared to the figure arts. But then again, we only have Ryu and Chun Li right now. I, I do have those as well. Mm -hmm. I've yet to review them somewhere. There's something here. <laughs> Other than that, um, I think uh, that's it for figures. I have a wacky item. A friend of mine. <laughs> no. I don't know if you guys want me to talk about spinners. <laughs> but I got these two uh, cute little guys, uh, thanks to my friend Benny. Um, he got this through one of those uh, cute robot blind box. Uh -huh. So 
So this is after uh, it's designed by Quicks. It's uh, mold after the his character tech TQ sixty three. I've had the you know the one six scale version of those, right. and he got. There's actually a gold version of this, which is really hard to get. I think the chance of getting that is one out of ninety. And oh. uh, <laughs> he was trying for it, like I said, no, don't, don't, don't keep buying them. It's it's ridiculous. Damn. Uh, this, I think the chances of getting these cards are one out of twenty-four, which is kind of average for among the other uh, blind box. But one out of ninety, that's really rough uh, or hard to get. Yeah, they're they're really cool. Um, cool. Yeah, I think that's it for me. I was going to hear about spinners. <laughs> How about we save that for the end of the show? You know, like the okay. after hours experience. <laughs> sure. Uh, I'll go next. I, I mine's um. Actually, no. Before we go on, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, me, Sonic Rocksman has a comment regarding. I believe it's the Storm Collectors Collectibles Bison. Mm -hmm. It says the company made a cut in the plastic on purpose to relieve stress on the socket. So it's random because it's so random cuts that it's not working. Oh, I don't know. So yeah, it's not working. Who knows? I've um I have a friend uh who, who I mean I just saw a couple of people having the same issue, broken joints, and that's not good. Yeah, that's a bummer. It's definitely a bummer. Yeah. And I don't know because this is distributed by Bluefin. I'm not sure if they're able to exchange it. That's another thing. I don't know if uh, Storm oh, Collectibles will order returns or something. Right. Well, good luck with that. Who knows. <laughs> It's the whole Valkyrie thing again. <laughs> can't, can't do anything about that kind of stuff. Our inside joke with Peter. Oh, yep. Uh, he's got some Valkyrie issues. All right, yeah. I'll go next. I was uh, cleaning up around my house, and uh, I forgot that I bought this. But I still haven't opened it. And so I got a uh, Marvel Legends Taskmaster. I, I don't know if I ever oh. showed this on here, but... I do have a Taskmaster, and I don't know why I bought it because I don't want it. So, why do you have that? Is that one of those <laughs> random things that you went to the mall after your ride and just, oh, there's a Taskmaster? Yeah, I think so. Probably. It's just like sometimes I'll go to the store and be like, huh? and then I won't. I'll go home and I'll leave it in my bag or something, and then I'll just forget about it. I'll put it somewhere, and then. It's like what, what? Uh, I hope I finally opened up my Figma Yuki Makoto from Persona Three. Yo, this Figma is pretty awesome. There's only one thing that I didn't think about that he needs. He needs a jacket where he could put his hands in his pockets because that's how he stands through like ninety percent of the game. He's mm. like he's okay. always standing with his hands in his pocket, doing like that. I'm so cool. I'm a cool angsty teen. Oh, Don't talk you can to do me. That. What? Oh, I like talking about. Yeah. Electrical tape? Yeah, you could. You got the thing. I guess you could. Um, the only big thing, though, I got was uh, God Bomber. Gabe, did you get God Bomber? I I did. It's, did you bomb some gods? The field and, uh, what the hell? And the prison. <laughs> prison. Oh, Wait, yeah. it's called God Bomber? His name is, well... It's called God Jinrai, but yeah, he's a God Bomber is half of this. He's oh. just the shoes and just the gloves and the wings. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's an add on by a third party. He's totally an add on. That's all he is. He's such a garbage transformer. <laughs> he doesn't even transform. I mean, like, he kind of transforms, but it looks cool, though. Let's face it. That's oh, the robot school, mode, but, I like, guess. <laughs> Battle station. <laughs> Wait, it turns into a base? Quote, unquote. <laughs> oh, mode. All right. That is nice. Yeah, so... Yeah, so, I mean, that's... 
that's God Bomber. Uh, but the combined mode is what everyone buys it for. It looks super cool. I think it looks neat. Except uh, for the sword. A lot of it. Yeah, the sword's kind of small and dinky, and it also doesn't, like, stay in. Like, it's not... Oh, it broke off. <laughs> but <laughs> the handle doesn't stay in. Like, it doesn't... There's no friction. It's, okay. it's a loose connection. Um, so, um, weird. This, every, like, a lot of the tolerances thing are so weak. Like, this cannon up here, like... Oh boy! Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> it's so like, what's this garbage? It's a bit. Uh, but the word, though, are the angles because I don't know if you opened up your Super Genrai yet, Gabe. But the angles are weird, or the feet on Super Genrai is weird, and now they become his ankles. But basically, yeah. they don't have any rear support, so they tend to fall back a lot. Like they're not yeah. really strong. And then the whole thing starts to break. Like his whole leg is that assembly that snaps out. Like this whole thing is built upon all these small little guiding tabs, but there's no like secure locking everything um, right. sturdy. So that's kind of a bummer. So you kind of can't really do anything with him except plop him on a desk like bang and just leave him there. <laughs> um, yeah. It's like a sentinel, just there to guard, to guard or something. Yeah, but it'll... yeah, I guess so. Yeah, um, but I mean, he looks cool, and I really like the idea that he has this whole cockpit that you could fit other headmasters in there, which I'm mm -hmm. sure we're going to talk about later on in the show. Yep, because it looks like he's missing two seats there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, um, yeah, he's cool. I mean, I won't lie; if they do it in fire guts colors, I'll probably rebuy it. But otherwise, <laughs> well, well, I'm black and red. Oh, black and red would be cool too. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. guys know fire guts, fire guts is red and orange. So, ooh, I like red and orange. Like he's he's basically just that. So he's uh he's neat. sort of worth it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, my my super genre is still in storage, so to speak. So I have yeah. to yeah I don't break I take it out. Yeah, for sure. Wait, yeah. so is is the Super Jinrai and this God Bomber are they from the same company? Yeah. Yes. Okay. They're both yeah. official Transformers. It's just They're that. both from Takara. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought they were like third party. No. Because if yeah. they were third party, I would assume they had better connection. <laughs> yeah. That one. That one I heard <laughs> yeah. is. I think it's like your mileage may vary. It's, um, I heard some people's Super Genrai is, is very sturdy, and some, or a lot of people are, are not sturdy. So I guess, yeah, it's kind of a my, your mileage may vary kind of thing. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm um, reading the comments, Ray Lee. Yeah, it is not fun to pose because the minute you move something, something pops off. It's, uh, it's a bummer. Oof. Yeah. Mm. Um, and for all you people who are eating cookies and ice cream in the chat, I hate you. I would love some of that stuff. <laughs> I'm drinking iced coffee. Ah. Uh, all right. But yeah. Yeah. But uh, that, that's it. Yeah. I think that's it for me. Uh, I don't know if I have, do I have a wacky item. Oh, uh, here. I um. You ever want to tighten a toy joint? Or like if, there's, if you have a ball joint on your action figure and they're loose, use some. Dip them in this. Oh, yeah, pledge. I have pledge, and too. And thicken up. And... Uh, I got some pledge. Yeah, there you go. It comes in different labels, but they're all the same thing. Gives it a nice little thickness to it. How about you, Gabe? Do you have your pledge? My pledge is in storage. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Everything in this storage, Joey. You're not a Dude. true collector. <laughs> I I put it away. I forgot where I put it, and I don't know where it is right now. <laughs> <laughs> I I might just buy another bottle, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, Gabe, round it out. Show us All what right. you got. Impress me. Okay. So. Let's do my only non-transformer items here. Okay, this guy. Is Whoa! Did you say Mayfax. guy? You know, in it is a as a general term. 
Don't trigger on me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trigger. <laughs> uh, Captain Phasma from Mayfax. Uh, and she is missing the figure. She is right here. Let me see. So, uh, if you compare this to the, I think this is like shinier, or than the SH figure art version. I think. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cape is fabric and it's pretty cool. Uh, the it has a wire that runs along along this edge, Ooh. and also. This ash right here. Ooh. So, yeah, you can like bend it however you want. Uh, unlike the other ones that I played with, uh, this, the joints are secure and it's not popping off like my other two fake uh, Mayfax. Uh, so, it's really good. There is a uh, holding joint in the upper torso, and then a waist i think of slight waist swivel but it's kind of it's like very minor uh yeah pretty cool um i think for my brief experience with her so far um she feels very light this feels like a model kit for oh, me no. yeah and like i thought this is gonna have like a tiny bit of um like die cast or something that would feel a little bit heavier, um, but it doesn't. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. But she looks really good, and is tall. She's taller, um, like in the in the right scale, if you will. Uh, because the only reason why I got this I got her is because the Essex Favorite one is so short. Oh, that's and right. it's yeah, it's kind of yeah, it's kind of out of scale. So. I don't know. So, but uh, I think this is probably going to be my last Mayfax. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. They are. They're not cheap, and it's not. Um. I don't think they're the best product. Good. Yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah, but it looks really good. You're here first. Gabe is going back to Revel Tech confirmed. Ah yes. <laughs> Revel yes. Tech. Best Actually, Revel Tech is doing pretty well. Best toy line of 2001. Air horns. Wow, 2001. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll save that for later. Let's talk about this guy. This guy is... Hey. So I just, I just saw the movie, like I said. Um, so, so before I say movie, I said to myself that I will not get any more movie toys. Well, that's I saw the movie, and here you go. I got a movie twice, but <laughs> oh my this is my this is my first one. Uh, hopefully, the first of few of many, of few, my friend, of few of complete collection. <laughs> <laughs> Wave at least shockwave is awesome. Shockwave. Well, actually, well, he's not in the recent movies. Things are really dead. Yeah. He he was in like two movies ago or something. Yeah, Dark of the Moon. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, okay details. Um, How can you say seen? that? It says premium on the box, doesn't it? And it's premier, which oh, means. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> I'm dyslexic. <laughs> premier. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. My bad. I'm out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I mean, a lot of, there's a lot of sculpted details, just not paint in, you know, what does this nail with retail transformers, I guess. Um, but I heard a lot of good things about it, and I've transformed it once. Pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. Decent. Yeah. I, Barricade is my favorite of the, of the movie, uh, I guess, bad guys, or even, I guess, of all of them. Yeah. But like I said, like, man, I'm just hyped for the masterpiece of that. Yeah, that's coming out, but uh, not until 
very late this year, I think. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, I lie about non Transformers. I got this guy because it was on sale. I think this is like Kylo Ren's shuttle. Oh, yeah. right. Yep. And then also is it the an A Wing. Oh, A. Yeah. I don't know. It's fun. It was on sale. No, I always I got get those it. On, on whatever. I still have to build the. The at at Okay, okay. And then the snow speeder, I think that's what I have. Okay, yeah. Those are fun. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. I'll talk about this guy. This is Octane or Octone, according to the packaging. This so this yeah, triple Hasbro? changer. This Hasbro, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Those are threats the truck, airplane, and that robot mode. Cool. So yeah, tango truck and a like a regular like airliner airplane. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, he is he's okay um, by the fact that um, he has a lot of parts that's painted over, and so his tabs is also painted over. So they are like too big to go into their proper tabs. So some of the tolerances is not it's not great. So in truck mode is very gappy. And yeah. Mm. I need to probably like do some sanding and whatnot. Yeah. But uh face is very let me see if we can get it closer. Face is pretty G1. So it's for G and friends that you should be happy about that. Uh yeah and that is it's an okay. It's okay. I don't regret picking it up, but uh, I wish it could be a better built toy. But the representation of the character, not bad, not bad. Let me see. I think, I think this should be my last thing. Is this guy right here? Ooh, we got Ooh, one. Nice, 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 yeah. nice. Let's bring back Sean. I spent about an hour transforming it last night. And yeah, here it is. I don't have battery, so I can't show off the sound function. Yeah. yeah. Um, the way that all the parts like turn around and then like change, just like change places is really, it's really cool. I, I, I like, I loved how this thing is designed and, um, just, I know some. I think some might say there's too many like panel lines around the gun mode, and it looks like um, someone cut it up a thousand pieces. Um, but I think if you're going in expecting like a perfect, like a perfect gun mode, I, I don't. I think you're you're looking at the wrong places. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. And, uh, I don't. I don't. I, th- I think the gun is fine for what it is, but it's not the reason mm-hmm. I bought the toy. Mm-hmm. And yeah, if you look at the bottom of the gun, that's the back of his head. That's really cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, let me think. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. Do you? So this is around like two, almost two hundred American. Yeah. I don't know. What do you do? You think? I forgot if you if you say it was worth it or not. Uh, that's tough. I think I I do think it's overpriced for what it is. It's mm-hmm. definitely overpriced for what it is. But I understand where the budget comes from. I mean, you have it in hand. That thing is fully painted. Yeah. When you consider how many different moving parts are on it, it's like you can count out all the pieces and be like, okay, I can see where the budget comes up. But when it's all together in your hand, especially when especially if you include the accessories and stuff, right? You're like, there's a lot of stuff yeah. here. Mm-hmm. But but yeah, for sure it does not feel like it should be worth that much. Yeah, I think I think um, for me at least as a collector, we have been kind of we have kind of been spoiled by like how like as up at least up till this point, all the masterpieces are around like like below like eighty for mm-hmm. the cars, and then around like below one fifty for the bigger guys. And so this 
Yeah. Well, I don't know. You, you say that, but I remember MP10 was... He was not cheap when he first came out. Yeah, yeah. yeah but the American one came out for like a, for 100. Which is, yeah. I don't know how they did it, but... Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. But um, yeah, this, I think... It's probably the the most expensive MP so far. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I get you saying like, I do think it's a little it's overpriced for what it is, but I can't help but love, love it. Like, yeah, I mean, it is probably close to my favorite of them all. Mm. So yeah, I don't regret my purchase at all. Mm. But yeah, it's just a it's a talking point that I seen people uh, debate about. Do you think he looks weird against MP10? Like, do you think there's that huge um, difference in aesthetic? Mm. Mm. No, Megatron is a weird. It's it's weird because there's no such thing as a real realistic looking like Megatron, yeah. and then like you know, and and like toy Megatron is such a wonky toy too. So it's like it's no this it's hard to compare for Megatron. Yeah, but um, I think he looks good as a as a character model, and against MP10, I think I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm not right, that cool. not that picky. Yeah, yeah, but uh, Wait, who that's... is cooler, Megatron or Optimus? I think are they about the same? I can't remember. I can I, I can look up a picture. Yeah, they're they're usually the same height, but I always thought maybe Megatron had like. A small, small height advantage. Yeah, it can't be that big of a difference. Yeah, I talking about a cartoon, the toy, or yeah, or just just in general. Well, probably the toy. I would I think it's. About... A, I think it's assumed that Megatron is like slightly taller. Mm, okay. Yeah. But yeah, that is that's for me for this month. Awesome. Yeah. You have a wacky item. Um I I don't know. I don't really do. I have these I have this small they do trans like transformer car things. Oh the ones you're beautiful, I think. <laughs> oh that wow. part for like it's like I don't know, these are like two or American dollars. And I think I got ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> Does it does it transform? Yeah, it does. It does. So this is the this is like the car mode. Yes. And then let me see. And do it real quick here. How complicated is this thing? <laughs> Jesus, it's as complicated as Megatron. <laughs> it's a taking game. Uh... 15 seconds. <laughs> All right. That's great. I don't know which way this uh, this thing oh. turns. Well, there you go. Oh, no, it's great. Permission. So, something like that. <laughs> wow. Oh, I, I forgot the... to turn face. That's why. <laughs> there you go. Wow. There you go. <laughs> nice. Money well spent right there. <laughs> No enjoyment, sure. Does it, it doesn't have a pullback feature, right? Like you can't pull it back and then it spins forward. The wheels do not spin. Oh my, that's not a car. <laughs> oh, no. That's not a car. <laughs> Yo, that's not. I'll show you a car. This is a car. Oh my. <laughs> this is a car, my friends. See that? You have a Formula One. That's Does a McLaren that Mercedes. It doesn't transform, but it does have the all-important pull it back. And the wheels will go. Let's see. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, it rolls. <laughs> I have a Porsche. Diego. <laughs> From last month. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, all right. Let's uh let's go check out the news. See what's up there. Let's see what's happening. Let's do that. Uh, what's the fun stuff to check out this month? Okay, first up, on the docket, we have some stuff from Acid Rain. Uh, oh, there we go. 
So I think it, none of you are familiar with this. No, we all know Acid Rain. I just don't know. Like, have they gone to an even smaller scale? Going with a smaller scale with a 124 on this uh, uh, B, what's it a 52, a B25 uh, series? Yeah. And along with that, uh, they've uh, scaled down their max also. Really? So this is actually uh, quite uh, promising because this is also the same scale as the Hex Hexagear by uh, Kotobukiya. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, That's 124 scale. suddenly that makes means... this way more tempting. Yes, oh. <laughs> for that reason. Have they announced the price for this yet? I didn't see yeah, a price on this article. Be cheap. Um, I think you can get the this big guy here for I think eighty. I can't remember, but it's around below a hundred bucks. Because okay. if you just get the struggle by itself, that big guy, it's yeah, uh, yeah. over a hundred or something. Oh, and, uh, you okay. get the little guys as a set, the jungle soldiers. You get them as a set. Okay. Okay. Even that uh, Mark II right there. That uh, he has a grappling. I mean, the grappling hands now. As opposed to something else, it's yeah, it's uh interesting. Also, another thing with the acid rain is they have that uh, you know how they have the greedy paint job. Yeah, yeah. And this one doesn't seem like oh uh, yeah, having that. clean. Yeah, so that might be a little drawback. But then again, and I, yeah, I'm not gonna complain much. And this is gonna be smaller scale. And yeah, oh, I want this the Mark One speeder. Yeah, the Mark One speeder. Yeah, that'll be that'll be nice. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, it comes in sand colors. Yep, the deluxe set. So this comes with both the speeder and the stronghold, oh. the big guy. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Okay. That's cool as a place set. That would be cool to get all one go. Yeah, it's like a different affiliation. We have the sand. Uh, you'll, you'll either have the sand the color scheme or the marine color scheme. Yeah. I mean, at least there's like a, sh like a small amount of variation. Uh, compare this with Diaclone. Oh, geez. Diaclone has different color scheme. You have like oh. yeah. red, blue, <laughs> spade. But yeah, cool. uh, quite promising yeah uh, we're still waiting for a female version of the soldiers all right for sure well but then again the hexagear has one so yeah <laughs> yeah well keep on waiting okay so the next thing is uh gundam converge means you still collect converge i don't i actually don't collect converge but but Depending on this. how much this is, I might consider it. I do have the SD uh, white base. Uh, uh, really the old button. This is such a quite nice. So um, look at the details. Yeah, this, this is looks... huge. Yeah. Actually, I think my little guys here, uh, do you guys remember the build model? This little guys here? Uh -uh. Um, yes. I remember, yeah, yeah the small dudes, yeah. Yeah, I do have oh, a couple that? of those, so this might pay for that. I, I just don't look like Converge. Far from me is a lack of articulation, and I, I'm already collecting the Soul Kingdoms uh, back then. Right. I yeah. like the Soul Kingdoms more than this, but they can be Soul Kingdoms, and now they're sticking with you, and unfortunately. So, yeah, I wonder, I mean, like, I guess scale would be off, but. I mean, you can use kind of use this as a uh, display piece with yeah. a Soul Kingdom or like Universal Unit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, look at the details on the thrusters there in the back. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and being able to open those hatches, yeah, it's it's definitely nice. Yeah. How much is this going for? I do not uh, know, but I don't think they have announced it yet. Oh, okay. But it's probably it's gonna be near a hundred bucks. Okay. It's gonna be P Bandai, and it won't be Bandai. cheap. <laughs> I don't think they have yeah. said it, but I'm just saying for. Oh, look at that! <laughs> I wonder if it comes with those three. 
I can't. I can't. Mm. I don't think so. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> they would just be giving away stuff now. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah, it's not going to be like that. So you have to get those. I still kind of want that Hyokushiki, but whatever. I don't know if I have that. For time to time, I, I've been getting the Converge, but I don't really pay much attention to them. They just, I, I just don't open them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the colors it's supposed to be. Yeah, you typical build one. Okay. Yay. Well, that's cool. White base in Converge size. Neat. Uh, we talked about God Jinrai earlier this episode. And Takara have released um, some special news about Gajin Rai. This is the FU edition. Oh, the <laughs> FU edition. Yep. <laughs> For people like me and you. Yep. Wait, what? <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. this is like the chromed out version? Yeah. So this this is the uh, Takara Tami Mall exclusive. We can only. Oh. It's kind of like a P Pen eye, if you think about it. And uh, oh, that's it's like. Slightly different coloring, and the chest piece is chrome, and it also comes with two tiny little characters that I totally thought they were gonna make toys for, like oh, in a separate not. release. <laughs> yeah, apparent, apparently they're gonna like, you know what, nerds, you want oh. these guys? You're gonna buy this whole set. Jeez, that is horrible. So the normal version doesn't come with those two little guys. No, nope. so th- these are the people that everybody wants, especially yep. this one. Yep. Oh, that is horrible. Those two tiny little toy is what is what is going to sell this set. And they know it. Yeah. Wow, that is a slap on the... <laughs> yep, and uh, look at that chrome chest piece. Oh my gosh. That is nice. So, I will be buying this. <laughs> 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 wait, 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 of course, wait, wait. why not? <laughs> Are you just buying this just for those little guys, or more so because of that chrome chest? Uh, I personally only want one of the little guys. But, <laughs> it, but like, oh, honestly, I, are you gonna flip the other one? No, no, I'm gonna just keep it all sealed and put it in a closet and forget about it for years. That's what <laughs> can happen. Like, because I have no intention on opening it. Oh my! Oh, <laughs> yes, knowing that one day you open it and you have it, no regrets. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I can totally understand that. Because I have okay, it, it's part that, and like I also have the original. Um, what yeah. Was it? yeah, yeah, yeah. The G one one in uh, in the in the original packaging. I'm like, it'd be so cool if I had both of them. Uh, or at least in my mind, I thought it'd be cool. So I, I just want to do that. Yeah. Okay. I am. I am. Like to... yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not have those two little guys um, on order from a friend. Oh. Uh, we will see. We will see. Okay. When <laughs> I show you the slick chromeness that I don't uh, like, you're gonna be like, uh, Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna wow, send that piece to the, to the factory and have them. Vacuum chrome in for me. Oh man! Okay. <laughs> and it costs the same as this set. <laughs> yeah, but now that I've seen this, I'm gonna see if I can just add paint to mine and whatever. And change. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's that. The Gajin Rai Fu Edition. <laughs> oh, this is good. Saber in a bikini. Because who didn't want? Wait, wait, you got a question. The Fu is that what I think it is it stands for? I don't know. What do you think it stands for? <laughs> Uh, the word F for letter. I don't know what does that stand for. I don't know. <laughs> That's just the name okay. of it. <laughs> hey guys, you guys like Fate Stay Night? You like Saber? Did you want to see her with less clothes on and a water gun? Because here you go. Oh my god! <laughs> Actually, those water guns are part of the weapon sets that you can buy separately. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> okay, so like this whole thing that you have to assemble that water gun on this. Yeah. Uh... So like. This whole figure is cool. That's that that's already established. But there's one picture that I want to show you that I want to know your opinion on. Okay. I probably didn't see this yet. It uh-huh. is this picture. 
<laughs> what do you think? <laughs> wow. Okay. Why is the <laughs> why is the Excalibur it's, right there? Is this a thing? Is this a thing in the, in the game or what is this? What I, am I looking at? I don't think it's a gunblade. <laughs> it's a gunblade. <laughs> it's a gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gun plate. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. This was the picture that sold me on it. Like, okay, maybe I do need this. Wow. <laughs> no, no, you don't. No. Okay, well, let's start from the top. So it's Saber, looking cute as ever, in a white bikini, uh, Super Soaker edition. Uh, She's got a. Oh no, you got me wet face. So there you go. Um. Sword and butt shot. Yep. Check. Hey, it's Tracer. <laughs> it's yep. Tracer, oh, yeah. everybody. The Tracer shot. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I think I have that sword. Uh, yeah. Gunblade edition. And now, gun sword, butt sandals. So, yes, yeah, so this yep. is a... Um, what's up? The sword? Yes. Oh, is that a painted version of that? Oh, yes. boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, I'm gonna use this. <laughs> <laughs> Clear version. Great. <clears throat> Anyways, we are uh, yeah. So it it is a a, a wonder festival summer slash wonderful hobby life for you online exclusive. Can we still pre-order that? Uh, yeah, I think uh, pre-orders... Actually, no, pre-orders don't open until it gets closer to the show, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, it might be on uh, AX. Oh, yes, it probably will be at, at, at conventions coming near you. All right, I'm going to go ask my friend uh, if he can pick a one for me. Yeah, so uh, it looks hot. That's all i got to say. Yep. <laughs> they do have a different colored uh, water gun. Ooh. I might just replace that. The one with the orange. <laughs> All right, then we get some scans from Hobby Japan, the August Ooh. edition? August. The Marine. August uh, All right, so Robot Damashi anime version of the Marine Zaku. Aquatic Zaku. Is that what this is? Yeah. yeah, the Marine Zaku. Yeah, well, all right, sure. That's a thing. Yay. And then we get... Uh... I don't know. Whoa. What the hell is this? What's this guy? The DM that's that's no, an uh, the gold old one. S. It's an old SD Gundam kit. Uh, it's a combiner, actually. I think. Yeah, it's he a combiner. Looks, he looks... Uh, I don't know what to think of that, actually. I don't <laughs> even remember that. I wanted to be like, yeah, that's cool. Then I was like, wait a minute. No, no, it looks dumb. Uh, that's that, a nice show gun. Yeah. It's a five set combiner. Ah. Uh-huh. Uh, well, the sniper too looks cool. Or the sniper custom anime. It looks neat, sure. Yeah. I don't like it when they don't for the shield. It's so red. Mm. Uh, this is the prototype Gundam version anime. Ooh, oh, nice. It looks just like the Gundam. Yay. Yeah, the bazooka effect parts. Oh, yes. I'm pretty sure it is just the regular Gundam repainted, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that go. looks like repainted. it. Yeah. Well, technically, the, the rifle is supposed to be different, which it, it is on this one. Oh. Is it? I can't tell from that picture. I don't know. All Gundams look the same. I'm I'm relying on my because <laughs> the one I have for the SEM EX, the there's subtle differences. Oh, okay. Mm. Great to know. All right, Robot Damashi cost signature series. This is the Faz. Yeah. It's a recolored Faz. Yeah, he's a big boy, and yeah, he looks awesome. I won't deny it. he looks awesome. Uh, he also looks expensive, and he's a <laughs> Tamashi Web exclusive. <laughs> Does it say how much here? Oh my god. I, I'm just between. really happy it's not a metal robot oh, machine. Oh, but that would be so much better. It's going to be like $800. Yeah. 
Oh, this is uh. Wait, how much was the Sentinel Gundam? This is like as big as a Sentinel Gundam. It's, yeah, it's not a tiny boy. That was like two hundred bucks. Oh, yeah. this almost uh, fifteen thousand. Jesus, fifteen thousand. Yeah, a hundred and forty-five thousand yen. That's a metal build. I'll have you know. Yeah, uh, hundred. Sorry, fourteen. Yeah, fourteen something. But yeah, yeah. the same thing as uh, Metal Robot Damashi Double yeah. Rising. But it comes with so many plastic parts that you don't have to use. <laughs> <laughs> they will just pop yeah. off. <laughs> I just like uh, that crazy uh, cannon thing. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, but let's talk about the more important version of this Gundam, and that is its uh, Armor Girl Project counterpart. Yep. Yay. <laughs> well, the cool thing about this with the frame arm, or the uh, AGP, sorry, not the, the AGP version is it's the same weapon set for the most part. So if I want two cannons, I gotta buy the chick and I gotta buy the faz. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. I do like that hair on, on that girl. It looks crazy. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's neat. Kind of curious if it's, it's gonna be pink or white. I'm gonna go with. Mm, I don't know. Might be blue. Mm. Yeah. Because you have that gray and blue color scheme. That's true. The other AGP girl is yeah. the S Gundam. Sentinel. Sentinel. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that one. She looks I what? I'll probably I'll probably get the Foz or AGP, but not the Sentinel. I want them to do the Barbatos Lupus as an AGP, but I want the girl to be a wolf dog thing. A wolf dog? Huh. Why? Uh, anyways, is this Bandai okay. Super Plus Diane Tarn 3? Is that what this is? Super Mini Pro, uh Sandbot 3, actually. Oh, my bad. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> well, that looks cool. So hopefully this means that they're making a lot of the the old school super robot yep. in this line. So yeah. Cool. I want, like, I see a Voltron. Yeah. <laughs> Voltron. Or or Voltus. I'm sure it'll happen. Um, yeah. Voltus is just a made up matter of time. Yeah. Uh, they're pretty expensive though. Yeah. Mini plot, they're about fifty bucks. The Megazord is uh, way more than that. Yeah, and then you have the Dragon Zord. Yeah. And then we have uh, Armor Knight Boys, which I know none of you guys care about. Yeah, sadly, I, I just, you know. Unless I can talk to... about it, but you guys don't care about them, so. Yeah. Well, well, look at that old guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this guy? Yeah. <laughs> that looks cool. That's his... Yeah. Um, Kind of like his like mortal form. Oh. I do like how these figures come with like the little part of an entire display base. Uh -huh. um, but that factors in part of the cost also, I think. You're right. These things are like sixty yeah. bucks each and they're like four inches tall. They're essentially GI Joe's. Yeah, okay, that's a bummer. Yeah. Well, really? They're small? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these yeah. Are tiny. All right, figure arts for Dragon Ball. All your favorites are here. We got the Shenron, we got the Yamcha, Tien, with Chaozu and the Cyberman. We got the figure arts Zero of Gogeta and Vegito. There's Sora, and hey, it's a Digimon. Did I miss anything? Nah, I think you got it. <laughs> you guys want to? I comment? still want to get a Gogeta. Wait, is that figure zero or? Uh... I'm pretty the sure figure it's zero. Figure, figure right mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah. Yeah. I do like how how Chaozu comes as a backpack. <laughs> he, he, He's supposed to lash I mean, like, on Napa. But what else does he do? Oh, that's true. He lashes on and dies. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. There's no way for Napa. Yeah. Crazy. So 
I don't care about this version of Yamcha. I want the younger Dragon Ball version where he does a Wolf Fang Fist all day. And he has a car. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. He does have a car. <laughs> He's going around with Poir going, Wolf Fang Fist, Bulma. <laughs> oh, what about Poir? Yeah, I know. Why does he come with the Cyberman? I know. You know what? The P Pandai premium color version is going to oh come with Poir. <laughs> 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 the I wouldn't have made bet money. Mm. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we got some die clone. Unfortunately, Peter is not here to comment on this, but I'm sure he wants this. I'm positive, right? He wants. I, I want it too. It's a yeah. clear version. Of course, who doesn't? Right? It's clear. But these are yeah. Expo exclusives. Yeah, unfortunately. And it comes with this awesome head that is oh, this. metallic. Oh, that's cool. Neat. That's kind of cool. What's this big bad boy over here? I think that is the... It's it's, it's one of the big guys. Okay. Yeah. It's called Big Powered. Ah, yes. Yeah. Big yeah. Powered. It's going to be ridiculously <laughs> expensive, too. All right. Then we got the power suits of a Gyrocopter. It's an add-on for the powered suits, yep. Yep, and Dirt Loader. Yeah, that's an exciting name. <laughs> Dirt Loader. <laughs> that's like the most boring uh, G.I. Joe name. And then I believe this <laughs> is the re-release of the original one with uh, a couple of structural fixes and I want to yep. say... And it down joint. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm still looking at that. That might be a good one to get to jump in on. Well, the reissue? Yeah. Yeah. They also, they also re, uh, changed the color of the little motorcycle. Oh, okay, cool. And then, of course, Figma has this man. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> look, look at that. <laughs> the what? This? No, no, no. <laughs> Scroll to the left. Oh, this. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you can do that now. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, who is he supposed to be? It's from a, an, an uh, art. Uh, was it? A... I don't know. I need to translate the. Oh, look, look, look at Michael right the country, there. But I don't, yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't know well, the top of my head. I know you guys are buying it, so that's great. Yeah, three of them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I might get that uh, Japanese dude. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Might. All right. Um, Digimon statues. That's great. Just perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep. Exactly great. So fancy. Uh, Cyber Formula. Oh, so good. Yes. We love it here. Cool. Great. I don't know about <laughs> Because we got an awesome. I... Oh, does it? This? No, the... no, no. The base is a, it's a Wonder Fest item i think oh this oh, is dark. Uh, well never mind <laughs> oh hey i heard you guys like that one piece though yeah well, i haven't watched the show best yeah, anime of 1999 yeah <laughs> what's his name All right. <laughs> his name is yeah i don't know his name <laughs> All right, Fat Deforma Eva series, finally. Something I, I know something about. Um, <laughs> so those, Ray and Ostaka, they look semi-cute. Wait, what <sighs> Wait, what series is this? This is Fat Deform. Yeah. Okay, let's let's oh. ignore the girls. The only thing we have to talk about is this. The NX? Uh, oh, that's not that's no, this is Fat Deform. It's not NX. So you get yep. more paint. Mm. Less accessories. <laughs> and probably more expensive. Yes. Yes. Mm. Why does it exist? I don't know. All right. Yeah, I guess if you want. I don't know. All right. You guys like that Attack on Titan? Because here's your one-sixth collection of that. Is this oh, a raw? No, this is uh, A-Zone. This is something else. Asterix series. 
then it actually looks good. Uh, the f- the face that head on face look right there. Mm, right yeah, I don't he know. He looks like a, a yeah. Barbie. He looks too young. <laughs> That's like the really like a kid. Yeah. Well, but those boots though. Oh man. But look at the hair. Are, are those actual that... hair strands or? Ah, <laughs> beats me, man. Beats me. Whew. Uh, That's all for that magazine scan. Yep. Wait, there's no Mikasa? No, not yet. At least not yet. Uh, let's talk about a Gundam. Oh, I, yeah, I'm looking for. That's what everyone's here for, right? The only cool Gundam this week month. Bandai is doing as a P Bandai web exclusive a master grade of the Gundam TR1 Hazel. That is horrible. Making this a P Bandai. I know, but but me, just check it. This guy is thick. I like it. It's beefy. Yeah. It's like the high grade, but even better. Yeah, I really want this. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people do. It looks so tasty. I just want to lick it. <laughs> Look at his Titans uh, mark. He's got he's got a tramp stamp. Oh my god! Need it. <laughs> Need it. <sighs> is this from uh, like a comic or what kind? Of, what kind? Of yeah, it's it from, from? Uh, the Zeta comic. It's it's the precursor to the Mark II. Oh okay okay, so it's kind of like a prototype almost. You got it. I really like the shield, that yeah. particular shield. But like, I believe the comic was made after Zeta, so that's why this design looks cooler than the Mark II. Uh, yeah, man. Like, check that out. I wonder if they're gonna make the GM Quell out of this. Uh, keep wishing. Oh wait, they really have. You're lucky. This is. Wait, what out. is the girl version? So, one word. Is it the TR or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like war, 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 something. Yeah, I can't remember, to be honest. Anyways. People wanted. We, uh, we're all buying one of these. i uh issuing the order now. So <laughs> get ready. Okay. We're all with buying one, and we're all building them, okay? Good. Yeah, yeah put them in my checking account. Get a wreck. This is going to cost 100 bucks. Oh, I know. It's going to cost so much money. Wait, go to the title. Well, how, I think that's a price. Oh, it might be. No, it's affordable. Yeah. It's so affordable. Oh, it's forty-eight. Yeah, fifty bucks. Let's all buy yeah. one. Three <laughs> times two. You gotta double that. That's, that's how much we're getting. Here. Okay, you guys buy them, save on shipping, and then send it to me, and then just send me an invoice. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna get a box. <laughs> 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 you know what's worse? I'll send you the box, and inside you have a converge. Oh my god! Oh you my! That. You would do that? <laughs> no, put a put a female <laughs> girls in it. Oh, cruel! <laughs> How cruel! <laughs> oh, okay, last story. This is the first San Diego Comic Con exclusive for Transformers fans. We got Gabe. What do we got? Is it an FU version also? No, not quite. Uh, this is a uh, repaint of the Hasbro version of uh, of uh, what's his name? Power Master. Uh, Power Master Prime. Yes. There you go. This is a later class figure uh, painted in black and gold detail. Oh and Louis Vuitton uh, color look scheme. at that. It comes with a skate ramp and a skateboard for the little headmaster guy. Wow. Man. So so it depends if you think that's cool or not. Yeah. I think I mean like it's one of those things so it's like it's so dumb that it's like it's kind of cool. I agree. Also yeah. it's just big on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh there you go. That's a box. Yeah, I agree. It's so dumb that it's cool. Also, it doesn't hurt that he's a black optimus and black uh-huh. primes are always cool. Yeah. If I if I can get this, um I'll probably paint those little window red. So I'll pretend it's to be like the nuclear quest. 
Oh, I see. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, I don't. I'm not familiar with if primitive skateboarding is actually a an actual brand. Yeah, but yeah, me. beats me. I, I, yes. I got nothing, my friend. I got nothing. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't That's... make sense. Transformer skateboarding. Hey, does that make more sense than you know, model kid girls being in an anime? He's got a point. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Take your pick. Take your pick. <laughs> All right, we've gotten to that point in the show, ladies and gentlemen. It is question time. So if you're still here and if you're still with us after so long recording and you got a question, now's your time. Put it in the chat room. In the meantime, we will fill this space with some other random stuff. Um, I got nothing. I, I got this. <laughs> is it a what? spinner? Is it a spinner? It's a spinner with, with a desktop, uh, what it is. <laughs> like a desktop so holder? Like a, like a stand? <laughs> yeah, it's like a pinwheel. Or no, no, no like a, what do you call that? What is that right again? Uh, a Ferris wheel? Ferris wheel, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and the cool thing about this also is you can change the balls. And you have a top, you actually sell, uh, sell it in a tower. You can either a brass, wood, um, clear acrylic, or derelict. It's a little crazy. Okay. I have no idea what you sold oh, for. Is, you have like 10 oh. of those uh, screws. So it's a pain in the ass to swap, uh, swap them out. Oh, okay. Uh, messing around, um, unscrewing things. This is like a... It's called Spidget. It's a weird name. That looks pretty metal. <laughs> yep. That looks pretty metal. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's... Uh... There's a there's a couple questions that I uh, that I have seen pop up, so we'll start with those and go from there. Uh, did I miss the gross Sama wants to know if he missed the gunpla updates? Yes and no, because there really wasn't any gunpla updates. So there you go. Not much news Red, this this month. Yeah. Red Gaddy wants to know if anybody you guys are getting SH figure arts dangerous zombie, the uh, Dan Kuroda from X8, Common Rider X8. Not me. I have it pre order from the guy. I'm that sounds awful. Oh, with X8, Dan, I'm not continuing any wow. story. Wow. So sad. Although Amazon, sad. yes. Amazon, yes. Okay, uh, I want Dangerous Zombie. Uh, I would love Dangerous Zombie, so yeah, sounds good to me. Um, Azur wants to talk about Mead's hair. Mead's talk about your hair. <laughs> How did you do that? I, 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 I'll, okay, I'll ask you questions. First of all, Meads, how did your hair get to this point? Are you sure just let it grow? Okay, okay. Is it naturally black? <laughs> <laughs> of course it's black. Uh, did, you, did you just wake up like in a look like that? Or is it a type of style? It's actually a lot worse when I wake up. Okay, so you styled it like that. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> oh. I, I just brush it up with my, with my fingers. I just, I just go like this. Oh, you know, okay. let it fluff up. And there's, the, there seems to be a bit of volume and bounce. Can you tell me what shampoo you use? <laughs> I, I use a conditioner. Oh, because I'm looking for a little, a little of that volume and bounce too. So <laughs> I think it's just my jeans. <laughs> Wait, just, what? We're talking, we're, we're talking Levi's or <laughs> no, no, no. Genetically, <laughs> I just have a lot of hair. All right. Do you do you put any product, anything special in there? Nah, just keep it natural. 
So it's natural. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Specifically to you, Azor, it's it's all real. It's all natural. And if you want hair like that, you can't get it. Uh, I'm enjoying it now before I go bald in a few years. <laughs> oh, you're expecting that to happen? Uh, well, I'm just looking at my dad. Yeah. Oh. Enjoy that. Oh, okay. My. Okay. Well, on a lighter topic, Dragon of Blackfire X would like to know: Do you guys like Common Rider? And I'm pretty sure I can safely answer that we all enjoy the Common Rider every now and then. Depends on which one. Sure. It does depend on which one. Uh, okay, is X8 almost done? Um, there's maybe uh, like 10 to 10? Well, it's over in September. Rumor is 10. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. Okay, 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 okay. Kenneth Robertson asks, how do you guys think the RG Unicorn Gundam will turn out since it has been confirmed that they want to avoid parts forming between modes? <laughs> Uh, no parts <laughs> forming? Oh, jeez. Oh. I think it's going to be as worse. Or even... Yeah, it's going to be worse than Zeta. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, so far, Rilligrad has been... It's hard to say. It's really fragile, but it works. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say that despite their intention, it's going to be so fragile to transform that it will end up being a transformer anyway. Oh, okay. Yep. I think it's going to be the best real gray Gundam we have ever experienced. It's going to change Gundam model kits forever. That's a bold just, statement. Just make more fun to real grades. Just, just make it happen. Okay. <laughs> Did you say 1 to 100 real grades? Well, 100 real grades, yeah. So you want them to make master grades? Yeah, master grade 3.0. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, we only have the arcs of eight. That your, looks like a real your grade. technicalities are killing me. <laughs> we need more. All right. The Crow Sama asks, any particular models or toys y'all are excited to get next month? My wife punished me from getting hits next month until I bring down my backlog. Man, that's got to suck. Um, geez, first of all, do you guys have significant others who force you to not spend as much on your plastic playthings? You know what? I wish someone does. Oh, okay. That's sad. <laughs> uh, Gabe, save me from this situation. <laughs> save me. Get us out of here. Um, well, but, but you know what? To be honest with you, oh, get, no. getting sucked in the spinner <laughs> makes me kind of care less about my other collection. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. It, it might be my escape route. <laughs> so, okay. So, you're saying spinners is your significant other? No. <laughs> I didn't say that. She does even worse, Gabe. <laughs> what are you doing? I said save me. Don't don't sink the ship. <laughs> Anyways, um Oh no. We me and my girlfriend have haven't really talked about spending and whatnot. So yeah. I just do whatever. Well that's Wait, great. Is yeah. your girlfriend a collector too? No, she's not. How about you, Vince? Oh, she's the exact opposite of me. Like, I'm super materialistic and all about the tangible clicky-clacky stuff. She's like, no, none of that. She, she oh, no. She's more about she's more about and, like, traveling and, and, and doing all that kind of stuff. So she doesn't mm. really... She's like, listen, if, if you could do whatever you want. Okay. She doesn't... I'm not gonna say that she's like 100% supportive of it, but she also <laughs> understands that like it's something I'm into, and that, and she respects that. So I'm I'm thankful in that sense, I guess. That's good. Um, let's see. Right. 
Oh, um, by the way, uh, the other part of this question was, was there anything next month you guys are looking forward to? I'm looking at next month's list right now. Um, I'm... Wasn't there a metal build red frame add-on that's coming out? I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to next month. Next month, I'm looking forward to TFCon when they have some like amazing exclusive that no one knows about, and I'm just going to buy. Uh, that's awesome. I sadly <laughs> will be will be in Asia by then. But yeah, I'm looking forward to a lot you of You can buy us P Bandai right there. Uh, you can't buy P Bandai in Asia. I'm just. You can get a ship. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> But you can get it shipped to Asia. Yeah. Wait, how long is your vacation? Are you gonna be there for two weeks? A week? I'm spend I'm spending a week in Hong Kong and a, and a week in Japan. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Oh, you know what's coming out next month? That's super cool. That uh, Evangelion slash Godzilla toy by Sentinel. Oh. Oh yes. Neat. Yeah, oh, I don't no. know if I can afford it anymore, but we'll see. Oh no, that's expensive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, I am bummed that my, uh, uh, my stay in Japan is a week before Wonderfest. So I'm like, ah, oh, it was only later I could have mm. gone to Wonderfest. And I'm seeing Tokyo too. But yeah, that's okay. Some other day. I, I think on, on AX, isn't Kawaguchi gonna be there? Uh oh yeah oh yeah he is gonna be there and I think he's judging the um was it the WC? W yeah 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 amazing Kawaguchi wow <laughs> wow <laughs> all right let's keep moving on Azur are you gonna do a review of the Dantelion Gundam Meads are you gonna do a review of that Gundam Dantelion or Dantelion who what? From- it's the one from Iron Blooded Orphans, the giant backpack that turns into huge arms. Probably not. All right. Well, I will, so don't worry about that. Yeah. Gabe, are you? Are you even the IBO? I don't have that kit right okay. now. Okay. He's going to get that kit confirmed. Okay. In Japan. <laughs> Great. Who's oh okay oh Dragon of Blackfire X has a follow up question. Ah. He, it's, so now he knows that we like Kamen Rider. What's your favorite Kamen Rider show? Oh, Kamen Rider show. Yes, Amazon. For me, it's probably between Gaim or W. Oh yeah, Gaim's good show. Yeah. It's my first common writer. Yeah, Gaim's pretty good. Gaim's pretty good. Uh, that is true. Gaim is actually out there. Yeah, man. Banana Rider was awesome. <laughs> uh, I, I, I would go with Gaim, yeah. I would go with Gaim. Okay. Uh, Red Gaddy wants to know if you guys are completing the Figma Berserk or Figma God Hands from Berserk. I'm going to go with no for myself. Do. Um, oh, uh, actually, I had, I had the, the what, is, what is that armor thing again called? The dwarven armor? Beats me. I had that before, but I sold it. Then, mm. yeah. No, uh, I'm just not into Berserk anymore. I don't know enough Berserk to, to get it. Same. I got nothing yeah. on it. Okay, um, and Kenneth Robertson says, "How big is your Gundam collection?" Um, Gabe, how big? How, how? What are we talking? Like one hundred, two hundred? Uh, I am maybe like twenty. Wow, <laughs> impressive. Wait, huh? Gundam collection? Yeah, that is not built. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we are we considering SDs? Sure. I have over probably close to fifty plus super deforms, or maybe a hundred. And not including the other kids I know. All right, all right. I've got a total of seven. 
Um, let's see. <laughs> well, are we talking about seven unbuilt? No, my whole collection is seven. Seven times ten. Okay, got it. Mm, seven. Seven. Okay, and the last question is a common Rider question again, and, and Zor wants to know, favorite common Rider design? Straight up design, go for it. Design. Ugh. I really think mine might be Dark x -Aid. What? Dark x or uh, Meteor. Wow. Yeah. Um, I... Hmm. I I'm really like, sure. yeah. I really like, um, I really like Kaiser. Really? Yeah. That's the show is like super dumb, but I, oh, yeah. I yeah, I like, you know, I watch Fies purely because I think it looks cool, but oh man, the story can, <laughs> can. <laughs> but yeah, I like, I like Kaiser a lot. No, thank you. Thank you. All right, and I think that's going to do it for this month's edition of uh, Toy Talk. Thanks to everyone for coming out, especially all you latecomers who joined the show midway through. It's always appreciated. Thank you for all the questions, and join us again next month when we do this all over again. Gabe, any last words before we go? Uh, not really this time. Just uh, yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Awesome. And uh, Meads, I mean, sorry. Spinner King, any last <laughs> words? Keep on spinning. Spinning, spinning, spinning. <laughs> Fuck, man. <sighs> you, you know what? You keep on doing you. All right. Yeah. See you all, see you all in a month. <laughs> Later. See ya.